studio. Thank you, Rhonda, for that pan shot. That's beautiful. Joining us now is Chef Georgia Pellegrini. We are so glad to have her here. She's new to Austin, and she's making a recipe using figs. Apparently, during the drought, figs are okay, and you yeah. can actually cook with them and make delicious recipes with them. She's going to show us how to do that this morning. Thank you so much for sure. being Thanks here. Thanks for being here. Thanks yeah. for having me. Yeah, sure. It's true. You know, figs have a very short shelf life, yeah. and they're very, a very short season, so why not make the use of them while you can? Exactly. And Texas is one of those places where you can grow them. So, yeah. Um, a fig pizza is super easy. I'll show you how to make a dough. It's, it's basically just flour, yeast, a little bit of olive oil, and a little bit of water. And it's basically just a paste that you're creating. Yeah. And, and you let it rise. Um, it takes about, you know, an hour to rise, depending on the heat around here. It'll probably take <laughs> 10 minutes, right? Exactly. So you have just your, stick it in the window. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> just sort of let it sit there for a second. Yeah. Um, and so, and, and then basically the, the pizza stone is what I love. Some people use cheat yeah. trays. Some people use pizza stones. Yeah. I'm actually offering this pizza stone an open sky right now because it's such a great way to make a really crisp, quick pizza. And you actually can do it on the grill. You don't have to do it in your oven. Yeah. Do it at the house. Yeah, I've got a few stones, and I love them because they cook the food evenly all the mm -hmm. way around. Absolutely. I, I love that. And I can show you sort of how we do it. Okay. If you want to get your hands in there yes, too. Yes, please. I to. will. <laughs> and what's great is that it's sort of an interactive dish. Well, that's what I love about it. You, know, yeah. you can have a party, have a pizza party, have everyone over. Everyone can make their favorite pizza. Yeah. Um, and, so, and so this pizza stone is on Open Sky right now. And, and I don't know how familiar you are with Open Sky, but it's basically what I call social networking meets shopping. Yeah. So the idea is you can follow your favorite curators in home design and fashion and food food and see what kind of finds they're they're offering you know their latest deals and oftentimes they're really unique things that you yeah. can find in the store so that's so tell us what else we're using here so we're using prosciutto okay. uh, figs we have black mission figs and uh, brown turkey figs oh, wow. and then we have fresh mozzarella prosciutto um, our crust and then we're gonna add some thyme I'm gonna take a piece of that yeah go for it I and, love that. Mm. and you know Instead of thyme, you could use oregano. Yeah. Um, you could use basil. And instead of the mozzarella, you could use goat cheese. Um, yeah. And then, obviously, there's all kinds of fruit right now. There's peaches you could grow. You could yeah. Do, you could do berries. Interesting. Yeah, absolutely. Now, how do you know when the figs are ready to be picked? You know, it's... They're really moist. They're really soft and yeah. juicy. You can sort of tell if it's a really hard, firm fig. It's, it's probably a little green still, and you need to take a little bit more time. But, yeah. but usually, uh, it'll sort of almost melt in your hand. I mean, it'll be sort of burst with flavor. It'll be plump. Okay. And they'll feel a really nice juiciness. Yeah. Um, and then and then to finish your pizza, you just do a little bit of balsamic, and that'll caramelize in the oven. Okay. With a little bit of olive oil. Just pour everything it. right it on. That's it. And then how long minutes. do you bake it? 10 or 15 that's minutes. It. That's it. That's it. So there. easy. You can do multiple ones at once for a party. I didn't realize <laughs> dough was so easy to make. Oh, just yeah. a few ingredients. Just a few ingredients. Just a yeah. little bit of yeast, a little bit of flour and water, and they're there. Yeah. Now, one unique thing about Georgia is that she hunts for her own food, <laughs> which I think is the coolest thing. <laughs> I do. I'm a hunter-gatherer. Yeah, I, I love my that. sleeves and get to the heart of where your food comes from. So. Not many people, uh, you know, not many women, I guess, do this that. But in Central Texas, I guess it's, it's a good area you to know, do that. Yeah, Texas yeah. is a little bit more friendly to, to that, and so it's sort of, it's good to be here. Yeah, <laughs> excellent. And then um, once you make this, what else can you do with the figs? What other kind of recipes can well, you I use? I mean, you know, one of my favorite things is to preserve figs. Um, you can make it fig jam, yeah. which is really wonderful, and that way you can give it as Christmas gifts in December. Yeah. Um, you can make tarts, which are always wonderful. You can get a pastry chef. At the, at the grocery store in the freezer yeah. aisle and just make a little cream and, and fig tart. Um, yeah. So there's some great options. I have relatives in Louisiana who have fig trees in their backyard, mm -hmm. and that's what we got for Christmas every year. I didn't oh, think yeah. about that because I never ate them. I didn't like the way they yeah. looked, but that was when I was younger. <laughs> I didn't like figs. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. If you need more information, you can go to georgiapellegrini.com. She has all kinds of recipes, and in fact, we'll have this recipe on our website at kxan.com later on today. It's great to meet you. Thanks. Welcome to Thanks Austin. Thank you. Yes. Good to be here. We are going outside.